Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what they thought the last time they saw you. So this can be for a specific person on your mind. Take a look at the piles we have with the specific person on your mind and see what you're most drawn to. Please also be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest because the messages may differ for everyone watching. I'm now going to show your crystals. So for pile number one we have aquamarine. For pile number two we have amethyst. And for pile number three, we have Rose Quartz. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. And if you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I will see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose this aquamarine crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they thought the last time they saw you, the person on your mind. Please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest because the messages may differ for everyone watching. You chose the card Beauty. I'm going to go ahead with the butterfly. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. Okay, my pile number ones. For your cards, we have Trust. We have Heart Chakra with Unfurling Back to Love. We have Transformation with You Are Experiencing Enormous Change Right Now, which brings great blessings. We have the Four of Cups. We have an extra little tarot card with the Page of Wands. I'm going to put this here for now. For your tarot cards, we have the Four of Voices, which is the Four of Swords. We have the Four of Materials, which is the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Materials, which is the Five of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Inspiration, which is the Queen of Wands. We have the Empress card. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Justice card. And lastly, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed within the last few days and I also want to thank those that have been here from the beginning viewing watching liking commenting and subscribing <laughs> thank you for all your support and enjoy this reading okay so my pile number ones what they thought the last time they saw you I feel this person 
of course, thinking that you are so, so, so beautiful, my pawn number ones. I'm not sure if this is a romantic connection, but there seems to be a lot of love here this person has towards you, regardless of if it's romantic or friendship or whatever. It's like I see this person just looking at you in this amazement, this awe, finding you to be so beautiful, and that's something they were thinking very heavily while they were with you the last time they saw you. I'm even looking at this picture of this Four of Cups where they're having this coffee together. I don't know if you went on a date with them or if they were just sitting across from you admiring your beauty and just the feeling I get is almost like they're in awe of your beauty. They're looking at you the whole time while you're speaking and they're just admiring your beauty, your face, your hair. I don't know if you've ever looked at someone and they look so flawless and like you're sitting across from them and like you just want to compliment them the whole time because you're just admiring their beauty and that's the feeling I get from this person and their thoughts of you the last time they saw you because I'm almost just feeling this feeling like you're talking and I'm just watching you looking at your beauty, looking into your eyes, kind of getting lost into your eyes, looking at your lips, wanting to <laughs> kiss you if it's romantic um, or if it's a friendship, just looking at your beauty and admiring it and being like, my friend is so beautiful, like, wow, how do I have such a beautiful friend or how do I have such a beautiful person right in front of me, crush, partner, anything it's like they were admiring your beauty and they couldn't stop thinking about how beautiful you are. And, you know, with the Empress and the Queen of Wands showing up, there's something about you just looking very confident in yourself the last time they saw you. There's something that is changing within you. Or I don't know if you've ever always been this way, but it's like this person looks at you and they see you becoming more and more confident by the day, becoming more and more in tune with yourself and your body and how you look and loving yourself more each and every day. And I think this person notices your demeanor change, like you become more and more confident in yourself, become more in your self-worth energy, if that makes sense. And I think this person notices it with the way you carry yourself, with the way you walk, the way you talk. There's something about each time they see you, you become more and more like yourself. You become more confident in yourself. And there's something about you glowing each time they see you and them just admiring you. I don't think it's just your physical beauty. I think you also have a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul. And this person just always, every time they see you or the last time they saw you, it's like they just admire everything about you, your internal but also external beauty. And with the Empress card, there's something about this person finding you to be so physically attractive and physically beautiful and there's something about this person really finding you to be or really thinking thoughts for you to be like I'm hearing like marriage material the type of thoughts of like oh this person could have my children if it's romantic like that type of energy I'm seeing that and if it's a friendship type of vibe then same thing just admiring your beauty how you kind of look your best every time they see you or at least what's that's what they think they think that you look very radiant very flawless they think that you glow in some way and it's like they thought that you grow more and more beautiful by the day <laughs> that's something I see here I'm seeing like hair specifically, like some of you had like ponytails hair the last time you saw this person. I guess it's just take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, it's okay. But something about your hair, this person wanting to play with your hair the last time they saw you or thinking your hair looks so beautiful. 
maybe thinking your hair smells beautiful, um, but not telling you that. I feel like when this person looks at you, they just admire you. There's so much admiration coming through here. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched like those makeup tutorials and then like the person's skin looks so flawless and they just look so juicy. I don't know, like that's the word I'm hearing, juicy. Like their skin glows in some way and I'm feeling like this person looks at you like that. Like just in awe of you. And that's something I'm picking up very strongly. You must be my pile of people uh, that have like this Venusian beauty to you. Where everyone can see this. Um, <laughs> I just feel like that very strongly. Like people notice your beauty a lot. And you must also be my pile of beautiful butterflies that everyone wants to keep Everyone wants to catch this beautiful, colorful butterfly. Because, I mean, we have so many butterfly symbols here with this and this. It's like everyone wants to catch this beautiful butterfly, but no one can. <laughs> and there's something about this person seeing you this way as well. Because you know what song I heard as I tapped into your energy? I think this person... I'll explain the song to you in a moment. I think this person finds you to be so beautiful, finds you to be so gorgeous, so jaw-dropping gorgeous, that I think sometimes they feel like, okay, this person's so beautiful, what if, what if they leave me? Or like, what if, what if I'm not good enough for this person? I don't know. I feel like this person may have an abandonment wound with the five of pentacles or they're scared like that you leave them or that they fall in love with you and then they are lacking love from you i i guess it's just a fear um something they need to process within and i'll tell you the song i heard now but you know how I said you're beautiful butterflies and like everyone wants to catch you i think this person sees that and I think this person sometimes sees like when you're out in public other people stare at you because you're so beautiful it's like other people stare at you and then they're like I think some insecurities come through not in a way of like how do I put this in words it's not like this person actually thinks you're gonna leave them I think it's an insecurity that comes up because I think this person has an abandonment wound and they try to tell themselves logical thoughts like, okay, um, you know, sometimes when you have worries or stresses and you try to combat that with a logical thought like, oh gosh, what if I fall off this train? <laughs> and then you have to combat that with a logical thought and be like, no, when would that ever happen? That's that's not logically correct. I feel like this person has worries and anxieties about like that and then they try to tell themselves logical thoughts of the truth, you know, because they know their thoughts aren't the truth. And there's something about this person trusting you more and more each day. And the more they see you, the more they trust you because they see that you're someone that's honest, that is open. They see that you're someone that is really caring, really empathetic, really loving. You have a big heart and I think this person sees that and that makes them trust you more and more. And the number four is sticking out to me. The number four relates to home. Um, it relates to the cancer energies of the fourth house home. Um... It relates to our upbringing. It relates to stability and security within each aspect of our life. So I feel in this case, it would be emotional stability um, that this person requires. And I think this person gets that from you. But it's almost like they need to rebuild their sense of trust in people. Because I feel like their trust may have been broken by people in their family or in their home, in their upbringing, because four relates to the fourth house energies. So I feel like this person may have had people in their family life or in their home life or people just really close to their heart 
um, betray their trust in some way or abandon them in some way, leave them. And it's like this person has that abandonment wound with them, but they know they can hold on to you and they know you're trustworthy. They logically know that. So each time they see you, it's like they trust you more and more and more. And it's like the worries get less. So let me tell you the song I heard. I just wanted to make sure I was explaining that correctly because I don't think this person thinks you're going to leave them. I think it's just fears that come up. So the song I heard was Steve Lacey, Dark Red. As soon as I tapped into your energy, I was hearing this melody. And uh, the lyrics are, something bad is about to happen to me. I don't know it, but I feel it coming. Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. I just hope she don't want to leave me. Don't you give me up, please don't give up. Honey, I belong with you and only you, baby. Only you, my girl. Only you, babe. Only you, darling. Only you. Something bad is about to happen to me. While I feel this way, I don't know, baby. I think of her so much it drives me crazy. I just don't want her to leave me. Don't you give me up. Please don't give up. Honey, I belong with you and only you, baby. Only you, my girl. Only you, babe. Only you, darling. Only you, babe. What if she's fine, it's my mind that's wrong, and I just let bad thoughts linger for far too long. What if she's fine, it's my mind that's wrong, and I just let bad thoughts linger too long. Uh, don't you give me up, please don't give up, honey, I belong with you. Only you, baby, only you, my girl, only you, babe. Only you, darling, only you, babe. So I think this song perfectly explains what I was trying to describe here. I think this person lets their mind linger for too long. You know, when we let those worries and those stresses come in, they creep up <laughs> like little ghosts behind us and they try to make us believe in that worry, our mind. But I think it's, I think it's some type of protection mechanism we have where our mind wants to almost make that worry come true to not let us experience it if it does happen, if worst case scenario does happen. But in actual fact, it doesn't help us sometimes. So I feel like this person tries to replace their worries with logical thoughts, logical truthful thoughts that they know with the justice card. I just saw a bird fly past and it almost looked like this. Um... And, you know, owls relate to intuition, but also deception. So it's almost like this person's intuition is telling them this person's trustworthy. I can open my heart to this person. I can unfurl back to love. It's safe to trust. It's safe to open up my heart to this person. And their intuition tells them it's safe to open up their heart but their mind tells them something else. Their mind is trying to deceive them. That's basically the message I get because it's not a coincidence that a bird just flew by past my window and it looked like this. Like, that is not a coincidence. <laughs> and as I talk, I keep biting my tongue. So I feel like this person is scared to tell you. And last time they saw you, they were thinking these thoughts like, please don't leave me. Um, I almost feel like this person holds on when their abandonment wound is triggered in some way. It's like they hold on even more tightly, but they may not show physical signs of it. It's like in their mind and their thoughts. And I think this person wants to tell you the truth of how they feel, but then I think they get scared and it's like, now I'm hearing that song, I buy my tongue, it's a bad habit. So it's like, I think this person wants to open up about how they feel and be more open and honest in how they feel. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. But it's like fear kind of creeps up behind them and tells them, you know, this person's not going to understand, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm hearing mother wound for some of you. This person has a mother wound, but it's like... 
I'm just feeling this energy of like this person wants to open up and be vulnerable with you, but it's like their mind deceives them. So that's something I pick up very heavily in your cards. But I think this person has a sweet heart, has a sweet nature. And Spirit is showing me it's something this person is clearing out. Um, you know, the number four, what I always see it as, as rebuilding sometimes. Because sometimes uh, the number four can also relate to stable foundations. And if we don't have a stable upbringing, if we don't have that safe space growing up, if we don't have that kind of energy, it, it shows up in our foundation of life. And sometimes when we grow up and we know that, okay, I, I didn't have the best upbringing. I didn't have the most loving upbringing. I need to almost rebuild that sense of safety for myself. I need to rebuild my mind, not rebuild my mind, but like rewire my mind and rewire my thoughts and build a sense of safety for myself in love. And I think this is what this person is currently doing unknowingly. I think they are trying to surrender to this feeling, um, but they're learning and growing from it. So I don't want you to worry about this person. It's like part of this person's journey to surrender to this, to be able to clear it out. Okay, and I feel here this person really feels like you have, you make them feel relaxed. This is what they thought the last time they saw you. You actually make them feel very relaxed and safe. And it's something they haven't really experienced before in other connections. And I'm seeing here you just make them feel safe. You make them feel like it's okay to open up. I can trust a little bit more. I can unfurl back to love. And you know, as someone that has experienced this and has an abandonment wound, I can relate to this energy. And sometimes when we're in our first healthy connection or healthy friendships, it's like we fear that it becomes what it once was. But I think this is part of this person's journey to be able to learn from that, rebuild their sense of safety, transform as we see in the transformation card. Um, and unfurl back to love. So this person thought the last time they saw you that they want to make a choice to try and open up their heart more, to try and be more vulnerable with you and open up about their truth, about their feelings and open up with vulnerability. That's what they thought the last time they saw you. Um, because I think this person kind of fears the reaction because I think they grew up in a family that was very much like always in conflict always um I'm almost feeling like there was always conflict there was always like this energy of I can't be myself I can't um speak my truth because if I speak my truth it's going to blow up like spirit showing me volcanoes. Like someone's going to blow up with anger if I speak my truth and speak about my feelings. I almost feel like this person grew up in a place where it was almost like, how do I put this in words? Spirit is showing me vultures. And you know how vultures like fly around and they're very much like ravenous for food is the word I'm hearing. And it's like, they have that energy, their family. And it's like, uh, for example, let's say we have a vulture here. And it's circling around this this um, animal. It wants this food. And the other vulture is its family. And then they start attacking each other. Like, Spirit is showing me that. I don't know if it's scientifically true or correct if vultures do do that. But Spirit is showing me that to help me explain what I'm seeing. The energy I'm seeing. So, I, I just feel like you're very generous with this person, with your love. 
and you make this person feel safe and that's what they thought the last time they saw you that they've never had that before that they've never had that kind of nurturing and it feels a little bit strange but it feels good and that's something I'm hearing from spirit like this person really thought you know the person I'm here with really allows me to speak my truth really allows me to be vulnerable with certain things doesn't judge me I feel like this person may have some past on loved ones or ancestors that is guiding them towards you and guiding them towards speaking about their feelings more speaking about not just um feelings like that but like speaking about their feelings more with their heart and opening up their heart to you i feel like an ancestor or past on loved one has been sending them dreams or signs or things to open up their heart um, more to love and even if this is friendship or romance whatever connection this is it's like the past unloved one or ancestor is guiding them to open up their heart more tell tell you more about their feelings not just the bad feelings but also the good feelings the loving feelings you know tell you more about how beautiful they think you are you know what I mean and that's something they thought the last time they saw you that they want to open up their heart to you and they really feel your energy and they feel your heart space and they just feel safe around you and spirit is showing me a lot of symbols of transformation because we have the butterfly here showing up twice but then we also ha I'm also seeing um, tadpoles clairvoyantly like those tadpole leaves and yesterday I did a reading for a client and I saw it meant like transformation so I'm I'm clairvoyantly seeing symbols of transformation that this person's going through um transforming in a change where they allow their emotions to come out and they allow themselves to surrender to this beautiful love that they are experiencing with you I also feel like this person just feels like you just click and that's what they thought the last time they saw you that you just click together that they see infinite possibilities with you that they really feel positive about being around you that you make them smile you make them laugh that's what they thought the last time they saw you and they just feel an overwhelming amount of love for you and they love to just hear your voice and hear you talk about things that make you excited and that's what this person thought the last time they saw you that you're so playful you're so open with your feelings and your emotions and you have such a beautiful smile you have such a beautiful positivity you give off and that's what this person thought the last time they saw you this person also thinks that they can really build a connection with you regardless of if this is a friendship or romantic it's like they th the last time they saw you they thought you know this person is someone I can really build something with whether it is friendship or romantic it's like I feel safe around this person I feel like this person's trustworthy this person's honest uh you may be my pile of pure souls or just people that have big hearts very empathetic people and it's like this person sees your traits and thinks you're very trustworthy and thinks that they can open up with you and I think this person kind of wants to take it slow with you but they want to build something with you and that's what they thought the last time they saw you that you just have such a beautiful connection together that makes them feel bright and makes them feel like their heart is shining out like their heart is opening up and that's what they thought the last time they saw you they also thought the last time they saw you that that you can help them maybe open up more because you're so open with your feelings and because you're so empathic I think this person thought like you know I don't have to be strong I don't have to um, keep holding on to the strength I can be 
open with my feelings and it's safe to do that. Um, this person also thought the last time they saw you that you're such a deep person, that you see world the world with such beauty and you see everyone's potential, that you're such a compassionate soul, such a beautiful heart and that you're also a really great listener and that you also give really beautiful advice. Um, Spirit is showing me the flower, the hydrin, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hydra hydrangea, something like that. I just want to see what the spiritual meaning of it is. Like a bluish purple one. Okay, so the blue one is apology, abundance, rarity, regret, strong emotion. The purple one is compassion, luxury, grace, royalty, and pride. And the, the whole spiritual meaning of it without the colors is just gratitude, grace, and beauty. So interesting beauty comes up. Gratitude, grace. I feel like this person is really grateful to have you in their life. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. They also regret maybe not opening up about their emotions sooner because blue kind of reminds me of emotions. And your crystal is aquamarine, which to me gives off this very healing energy. Um, and with all the transformation symbols we see, I think they maybe thought last time that they feel such strong emotions for you and that you're such a rare person to have in their life. I'm now hearing the song Rare by Selena Gomez and like you're a blessing to them and they just regret not opening up sooner about how they feel um, out of fear and they also feel like the connection with you is abundant, the love is abundant um, and they want to spoil you as well with the luxury energy because I was going to speak about this king of pentacles energy and how they want to spoil you they want to buy you a gift the next time they see you or they want to do something special for you the next time they see you or they want to spoil you in some way that's something they thought the last time they saw you and they really want to treat you like royalty like a king like a queen uh whoever is watching this but like I'm just seeing this person really wants to spoil you with not only material things but also with love because they feel spoiled by you and this person really thinks that you're really independent that you're really strong and that you're that you're independent but they want to spoil you you know what I mean and this person also thought the last time they saw you that they want to they just want to give you more love. They feel a lot of hopeless romantic feelings for you. And I feel this person has a soft spot in their heart for you. That they just feel a lot of relaxation energy around you. They feel like they can grow with you. Um, they feel like you're their home in some way. And they feel like you really are always transforming. And it's like they feel like you have good values and that you'd be the perfect partner or friend to be to them because you just have all these beautiful qualities and traits and they just feel like the universe has blessed them in the most abundant way by meeting you and that's what they thought the last time they saw you so this was your reading my pile number ones i really hope that this reading resonated and as i end off your reading i'm feeling I'm actually feeling my heart chakra clear out. So there's something about this reading that is going to clear out this person's heart chakra and make them see the love more deeply. And it's funny because we have the heart chakra card. So this person has been hurt in their heart and something about this reading is going to clear out their heart space and make it more open to love. And that's really beautiful because even if someone is not present to hear what is said, the energy is still healing for them. Whenever like a reader taps into the energy, depending on their gifts, the energy is still healed even if they don't hear the messages. So 
This is what I see in your reading. I really hope that this resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this amethyst crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they thought the last time they saw you, the person on your mind. Please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest, as the messages may differ for everyone watching. You chose the card The Wind Fairy with thoughts, words and intellectual analysis. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. Okay, so for your cards, we have the future, we have Manifestia, we have Undying Love, with the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. We have the universe. And we have the nine of swords. So, you know, I'm feeling your energy, my pile number twos. And I actually do feel a lot of similarities to pile one. So if you were drawn to pile one and you feel called to watching that, I would suggest going to watch it specifically for one thing um, that relates to your reading because in pile one I spoke about pile ones being so beautiful that this person worries like are they gonna leave me um, because they had an abandonment wound in pile one so if you feel called to watching that please do but I feel a lot of similarities in your pile because I mean we have the Miss Universe card here and the Nine of Swords. Um, so yeah, that's what I feel here. We have the Three of Voices, which is the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Voices, which is the Eight of Swords. We have the Muse of Emotions, which is the King of Cups. We have the Magician. We have the Star. We have the Fool card. We have the Sun card. And lastly, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed within the last few days. Thank you for all your support. But I also want to thank those that have been here from the beginning. Support Recording, liking, viewing, commenting, watching. I love you all and thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the reading. So in terms of what this person thought the last time they saw you, like I said while I was pulling out your cards, if you didn't hear me there, there may be some similarities with your pile to pile number one. So if you were drawn to watching pile one, you know, you're more than welcome to watch that pile because I think it could benefit you to hear more about this energy but if not also okay so what i am seeing of what this person thought the last time they saw you since we have the universe here which is the world card but we see miss universe and then we have the nine of swords um and all these swords cards here but also the wind fairy with thoughts words and intellectual analysis there's something here about this person being in their head the last time they saw you with all this 
mental air energy. I think this person sometimes struggles with being in their head, with worries, with thoughts that kind of feel like it's leaving them trapped. Like look at this woman here and the way she's like holding her head. I never noticed that before, but I'm noticing it now. Um, and you know what Spirit is showing me as I look at this door? Uh, you know in Monsters Inc. when they have like those different doors and they go through the different doors and then like they scare the little children. Um, so Spirit is showing me that like in this person's mind. It's almost like they have their own internal monsters in their mind, but the monsters aren't monsters. It's just like thoughts that are trying to creep up on them that are trying to scare them and it's almost like they want to trap and lock those doors and throw away the keys you know monsters ink when like they lock the door and then it goes back up something about that like as a metaphor for how this person feels when those thoughts come out i think this person's very much in their head and they have a lot of worries and stresses and it doesn't help that they're thinking so much and over analyzing things and that's what they were in in the state they were the last time they saw you and I don't know why like I'm looking here and there's like a, a red button here and it kind of reminds me of like those emergency buttons that you press if something goes wrong so it's almost like this person I don't know if they're in fight or flight mode or if they feel like almost like in that urgency type of emergency type of mode like and I'm still hearing the song from pile one in my mind it's by Steve Lacey and it's called dark red and what I said to pile one was very similar to what I see here so what I said to pile one was you know, since you have this Miss Universe card, we can see this woman looking so beautiful here, being crowned Miss Universe. And there is only one Miss Universe, you know what I mean? So there's something about this person, the last time they saw you, I said this to pile one, they think you're so, so, so beautiful that every time they see you, they admire your beauty and they find you so, so, so beautiful. And sometimes it makes them worry because it's like, are you going to leave me for someone else? Like, is someone else going to come and steal you? I'm hearing Mr. Steal Your Girl or something like that. Just like that word. So it's kind of like, I don't, I don't want someone to steal my person away. And Spirit is showing me um, like a dog that has food and like it's, it's, protecting its food I don't know if this person has had people cheat on them in the past or has had like betrayal traumas so it's kind of like this person kind of worries a lot about that and stresses a lot about that because I think it comes from a place of not wanting to lose you and it comes from a place of a deeper pain within their heart that they are healing since the three of swords is opposite the star so I think this person is just in their head a lot and it's like these fears are being triggered by their heartbreak from the past or betrayal traumas or things like that uh, trust issues heartbreak it's like past things coming to the surface um, wanting to be healed but this person almost like I don't know why I'm seeing like someone bang their head like thoughts get out of my head like kind of energy um this person thinks it's just thoughts or worries but it comes from a deeper pain within their heart and it's like our bodies and our minds are so smart it brings up things that we need to review and look at and when worries and stresses come up so much we sometimes think oh it's like my brain just my brain just making me miserable no it's not it's that pain coming up and saying hey look at me I need to process this I need to process this look at me and it's like we want to run away from it um, because we think it's just a thought you know what I mean 
So there's something about this person being in their head. So I'm still hearing the song Steve Lacey, Dark Red. Let me tell you the lyrics. Uh, the lyrics are something bad is about to happen to me. I don't know it, but I feel it coming. Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. I just hope she don't want to leave me. Don't you give me up, please don't give up. Honey, I belong with you and only you, baby. Only you, my girl, only you, babe. Only you, my darling, only you, babe. Something bad is about to happen to me. Why I feel this way, I don't know, baby. I think of her so much, it drives me crazy. I just don't want her to leave me. Don't you give me up, please don't give up. Honey, I belong with you and only you, baby. Only you, my girl. Only you, darling. Only you, my babe. What if she's fine? It's my mind that's wrong and I just let bad thoughts linger for far too long. What if she's fine? It's just my mind that's wrong and I just let bad thoughts linger for far too long. So that is basically the vibe I'm feeling. Um, I don't know why pile one and two are so similar. Because at the end of pile one, I said to them, um, something about this needed to come out in the reading because it, it was going to heal their heart. And I feel in this case, same situation. It's it's not nice to talk about. Um, I feel bad for this person. I want to hold this person. And I feel like crying now. Like I feel this person's pain. And it comes from a deeper heartbreak inside their emotional field but you know what this person is so 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 strong and I'm glad it's coming out in the reading because I'm feeling the energy is being healed as I speak about this even if this person is not here to receive these messages the energy still gets healed in the astral realm and you know why I say this person so strong because we have these starfish here in the muse of emotions and the starfish is this kind of resilience, this kind of rebirth energy of the starfish leg can get cut off, but it will grow back. And there's another starfish here on this woman's hair. So that's interesting. It's like um, whatever was hurting this person's heart in the past, it's going to grow back their heart. You know what I mean? Metaphorically, but like. I see it's like something this person needs to process within their emotions and it's kind of like you know when intrusive thoughts come up when we try to ignore it and try to push it away it just comes up more. I think this person is not aware that it's something emotional within them that has scarred them I'm hearing and I think this person is not aware it comes from a pain in their heart. That is making them have all these thoughts. I think sometimes this person intellectualizes their emotions because they are so smart. I feel like this person's very, very smart. You know what Spirit's showing me? Um, Riverdale, what's his name? Oh, Jughead. I forgot his name for a moment, but like he writes and he's so, 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 so smart and intellectual. And I feel like this person has that same energy to them I feel for some of you this person is creative in some way and something about you um urging them to put their energy into creative energies um because that's something I'm seeing that can heal this person uh creative energies doing something creative anything creative they're drawn to because it's going to get them out of their head and into a flow state where they can express their emotions in a way that is healing them but not overwhelming them because i feel like this person's nervous system is healing and something about their nervous system healing their body feels safe enough to bring out these emotions and these thoughts. But it's like this person intellectualizes it, questions why they're feeling it, which is totally okay because that can be shadow work. But I think this person over analyzes their feelings to the point where they start to stress and worry. And something about getting them into the flow state where they can express that emotion in some way without it feeling too much or overwhelming. So that's what spirit is really suggesting for this person. 
um, to at least open up to in some way. Because I feel like this person could really express a lot of things in their art in some way that could help them heal. But like I said, this person finds you to be so beautiful. Finds you to be like Miss Universe, one of a kind. And not just your physical beauty. Also your heart. Because when we think of Miss Universe, Miss Universe doesn't just become Miss Universe because she's pretty. You know, Miss Universe needs to have specific qualities and traits to become Miss Universe. She needs to carry herself in a elegant way. She needs to have a good heart. She needs to have, um, she needs to be intelligent. She needs to be able to be a good role model for young women. You know what I mean? And I feel like this person finds you to have those specific traits um, to be crowned. You know what I mean? Like Miss Universe. Um, since it's next to the Manifestia card, I feel like this person, the last time they saw you, as I said, they were in their head, but they were also admiring your beauty and they find you to be so beautiful, not just within your physical beauty, but also your soul. Your heart is beautiful and there's something here about your energy is so beautiful. You have such a pure soul. You're so supportive. Um, you're, you feel freeing to this person. You feel healing to this person. And there's something about the word miracles I'm hearing. Like this person feels like it was a miracle to meet you. And there's something here about like the more and more they get to know you. The more and more they feel like they've manifested you or like they've prayed for you and you've come into their life like without them even realizing they've prayed for you to have a person like you it's like with the universe card miss universe it's like this person dreamed of having specific traits in a partner and it's like you have all those traits they've dreamed of so they feel like they've manifested you in some way and that's what they thought the last time they saw you but also they were very much in their head the last time they saw you because it's almost like you have everything anyone would want in a partner you have everything everyone dreams of having in a partner is someone just gonna come and steal my person here um or friend, I don't know what type of connection this is, or crush, like, it almost feels like someone's gonna steal my person, because they're just everything anyone would want in a person, they're beautiful, they're magical inside and out, and it's like, I'm seeing the bachelor, and, uh, you know, when they give, like, those roses, and then the last person gets a rose, and they're crowned, it's kind of like this person would pick you over a bunch of people if they were in a room that's what I'm hearing it's like they would pick you to be their partner to be their long-term partner here with the ten of cups or to be their long-term friend or person in their life I don't know what connection this is it's different for all of you depending on who you picked in your mind but it's like this person sees a lot of endless opportunities to grow with you and they're last time they saw you they tried to combat these negative thoughts with excitement for the future so it's kind of like the when they first saw you in the beginning they were very much in their head they were very much worrying stressing like I don't know if this person has an abandonment wound or like they just have been betrayed in the past or they're just scared to get hurt but I feel like there's something about the last time this person saw you. They tried to combat those negative thoughts with getting excited about the future. Um, uh, getting excited about you. Because I feel here you have this very fiery energy of excitement. And it's like when this person is around you, they get very excited. They feel free in some way when they're around you. They feel like they have they have more emotions coming out when they're around you. Yes, there's something about emotions being triggered 
for healing in them and it takes a lot of courage to look at those emotions i feel this person's heart is healing in some way but as they heal it's like they start to find more and more excitement each time they see you for the future for the possibilities of your connection for you to grow together for you to transform together and there's something here about them just feeling excited to see you again the last time they saw you. It's like, I have so much excitement being around this person. I just want to see them more and more and more. Um, you know, I may have these worries and these stresses, but they actually make me feel at peace. And that's something I'm seeing. Like, this person feels like you're their peace in some way. Like, you just... Even with all these worries and these stresses that come from a deeper wound, it's like you bring them a lot of peace and you make them feel safe within their emotions and what they're feeling. Um, they may have thought the last time they saw you that they want to open up about what they're feeling, but that they also want to look deeper into it, why they have all these worries. Because it's kind of like Spur showing me investigate like an investigator you know in those crime movies it's like they want to investigate their mind and their heart and why they're feeling this way and that's what they thought the last time they saw you but they also thought that every time they see you sometimes their their emotions get triggered in some way unintentionally and it's like heavy emotions come out because your energy is so healing Heavy emotions come out and it's like healing happens in this person's emotional field. But I also feel like this person intellectualizes their feelings to a point where sometimes they don't just let that feeling pass. And I can relate heavily to this. I, I don't know if this person has a lot of Mercury placements like Virgo or... Um, Gemini but it's like they're in their head a lot is something I see and I don't know for some of you this person like I said artistic things some of you this person writes some of you this person sings or like makes music or for some of you this person does art like actual painting or drawing and I feel like something about that is going to help them express it in a way that is healing I keep seeing that but I think this person also feels like they receive a lot of heart healing with you. And each time they see you, they feel like they have more courage to open up to their feelings. Um, but they also just feel a lot of excitement around you. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you, how excited they are to see you again. And it's like this kind of energy of I'm sitting in front of you, admiring your beauty having so much fun maybe you said something that got me out of my head and you opened me up to this fun energy with the sun here the last time I saw you and it's like I keep just looking at you and admiring your beauty inside and out but then you make me laugh even when I'm sad like that type of feeling this person gets from you and that's what they thought the last time they saw you I also think this person just has a lot of attraction towards you and they want to have courage to open up to this and I think this person is starting to rebuild their self-worth and believe that they are worthy of this love but um, I don't know if that's a conscious thought they had or if spirit is just showing me that. Um, I feel like there's something here about this being a first for them where it's a first time I've had someone in my life that is what I need in a person in a friend in a partner in a crush it's like I'm hearing this song for the first time by Mac DeMarco and it's like I think this person is changing in some way around you I just saw 111 there's something about this person feeling like they're changing around you, like they're opening up more to love, like they're kind of ready to optimistically start something new with you here with the full card. And it's like, 
I've never received this much support from a person in ever. I've never had a person that where I've asked for like these specific traits and they've come into my life. It's almost like a first for this person. Does that make sense? And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. Like, this is a first for me. I've never met a person like you. So the lyrics are like by Mac DeMarco for the first time. While she's been away, living day to day has been tough. Without her at my side, simply being alive has been rough. And though she won't be gone forever, there are many times I find it feels that way and I'm not trying to forget her. Just understand how I be feeling on that day. It's just like seeing her for the first time. It's just like seeing her for the first time. The time she's not around somewhere out of town has been hard, but somehow this old heart found time to work out this far. No, I know she's coming home soon. There are times I find it hard to feel that way. It's not inside me to forget her. Just understand how I'll be feeling on that day. It's just like seeing her for the first time again. So the last time this person saw you, they thought like going home and being away from you will be tough, that they're going to miss you. But they're also excited to see you in the future. But then I also feel like worries creep in because it's like, am I going to see this person again? Yes, yes, I am. Um, I believe I can see this person again. Um, I won't I won't forget this person like that's that's what this person thought. And every time they see you, it's like they see you for the first time again. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. But also, I think this person, the last time they saw you, they started thinking that you make them see life in color. You make their life so vivid and bright. And it's like you bring in sunshine that makes their tears dry away. And it's like you, you're changing this person for the better without realizing. Internally, externally, it's like, this person is changing for the better around you. You're a good influence to them. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. But also that they're just ready to take a step towards you with optimism. They don't know how the future is going to go. They're trying to not let the worries creep up. But like the last time they saw you, they thought, I want to give this a try. I want to go towards this with optimism and with hope and believe that the universe has my back or that God would give me this if it was right for me. Because I also think this person is like afraid of the unknown, afraid of the future, but it's something they're healing. Yeah, they're afraid of the unknown, but it's like, I'm ready to step in the unknown with you and go through with this, with this excitement. Who knows what doors could this unlock in terms of friendship or romance or whatever. Um, I really feel this person thought the last time they saw you that you really see them on a deep level. There's something about you being so intuitive and you knowing what they need before they even ask for it. You nourishing them with support before they even ask for it. Uh, and this person thought that the last time they saw you that you're just so thoughtful. That you're so supportive. That you're so loving. That you're such a pure soul and such a miracle to them. Because you're everything they've wanted in a friend, in a partner, in a crush. And it's like you make them feel free. And that's what I'm hearing this person thought the last time they saw you. That you're just a miracle to them in some way. And this person also thinks that you are blossoming in your own way as well. And that you get them to honor their emotions more. And there's something about this person the last time they saw you. They thought like, it's so weird because I have such a deep connection to this person. Have I known them before in a past life? Like, I don't know if this person's spiritual or you're spiritual, but it's like this feeling of like, I've known this person before, 
somehow because the connection is just so deep it feels like home to me it feels like my heart is expanding and I just see a future with this person regardless of what my mind is telling me and what my worries are telling me I feel like a deep connection with this person and that's what they thought the last time they saw you I also think this person thought the last time they saw you that they want to tell you about how they feel. They want to tell you about their worries and what keeps them up at night. They want to tell you how attracted they are to you or how beautiful you are inside and out. And if this is a friendship, they want to tell you just how bright you make their life, even if it's love. You make their life bright and vivid. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. But they also just feel intuitively drawn to you. They thought like, I I want to take steps towards this. Let's take it slow so I don't have to worry and stress too much about it. But I, I'm almost like wearing my heart on my sleeve for this person. This person has a soft spot in my heart. And it's like um, something about... You fill up so much space in their heart that they need to make more space in their heart for you. And I think that's why heart healing is happening. Because it feels like you expand this person's heart. And you're just so nurturing to this person. But you're also such an excitement for this person to be around. You make this person's life bright and vivid and colorful again. And it's like... I really feel like I can create something with this person, with the magician card. I really feel like I can create something long term with this person, not just create something with you, with the Ten of Cups. And it's like you are the rainbows to this person's storm as we see a rainbow here. But this person also just, the last time they saw you, they thought, I want to have hope for this. I want to have hope for the future. I want to believe that dreams can come true I want to believe that this love is beautiful and eternal um, and I want to believe that this new journey could be happy for me so this is what I see in your reading my pal number twos of what they thought the last time they saw you I really hope that this resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this rose quartz crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they thought the last time they saw you, the person on your mind. So you chose the card transformation with trusting the psychic gifts and the swan. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards, but before I do, please note that this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so for your cards, we have feelings, we have our ancient future, we have bright future with stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. We have the star. We have an extra little tarot card with the six of coins, which is the six of pentacles. We have the six of materials, which is the six of pentacles again. We have the eight of materials, which is the eight of pentacles. We have the Awakening card, which is the Judgment card. We have the Sun card. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. And we have the Four of Wands.
Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know, and the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. And I'd also like to thank everyone who has subscribed within the past few days. Thank you for all your support. I'd also like to thank those that have been here since the beginning, supporting, liking, viewing, commenting. Thank you for all your support and love. I'm sending you so much love and enjoy this reading. Okay, so my pile number threes. Now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what they thought last time, the last time they saw you, okay? So I'm feeling here you have really been transforming my pile number threes you've been transforming in ways you cannot even comprehend and I think the people around you can tell they can see this and what I'm about to say in this reading about the person on your mind um, I think this person loves you dearly but some things I'm going to say in this reading may not be something you want to hear so I'm just giving you that heads up and your your guides want you to look at it in a different perspective, okay? Where we really try to have compassion and understand why this person thinks this way and try to have compassion for the situation because I'm hearing it's not personal to you, okay? It's something this person needs to heal and it's something they need to find within themselves. So what I do see what this person thought the last time they saw you. I feel like this person loves you dearly. There is a lot of love in this connection. For a lot of you, it is a romantic connection with the lovers. But for others of you, if this is a friendship, there is a lot of love here. Don't get me wrong. There is definitely a huge amount of love that your mind cannot even comprehend. However, I do feel this person is on their healing journey in some way and they are transforming as well in their own way, okay? So when I say this, I don't want you to be hurt by it, but I also want you to come for from an understanding, okay? So I see here the last time they saw you they really see you transforming and growing. And this person really sees you becoming your best self, becoming and changing into this best version of yourself. And the changes you've been making in your own journey, I think inspires this person a lot, but it also just makes them fear as well. And I think this feeling whatever I'm going to say here or describe comes from fear. It's not out of maliciousness. So what I do see here is you've been focusing on your growth, my pile number threes. And I think this person can see that you've been focusing on growing a stable foundation for yourself within your physical life, within your career, within your finances. Um, you've been trying to reclaim your your own sense of independence and self-worth within yourself but also you've just been focusing a lot on creating within your career and working hard and it seems you've been mastering something with the eight of pentacles but you've also been healing um, a lot of emotions so you've been transforming a lot you've been becoming a better version of yourself and this is a magical kind of growth uh, journey you've been going on, okay? And I think this person sees how much you've grown, how much you've transformed. And you know, sometimes it's a little bit hard for those around us to see us transforming, especially if they're used to an old version of us. So this person sees you really working hard on yourself, on your life, building a stable foundation for yourself. I feel like a lot of you have been focusing on building independence within your careers and your finances. And it seems you've really been mastering skills of yours with the Eight of Pentacles. And 
with Lakshmi showing up, she is the goddess of wealth, if I'm not mistaken. So, and even the six of pentacles here, it seems like you've been gaining this mastery over your career and your physical foundations in life where you've been gaining more independence and it's like you've focused so much that you've transformed in a very beautiful way and you're going to continue to transform. And what I see here is the last time this person saw you, this person sees you changing, this person sees you becoming a better version of yourself, becoming more independent. Some of you have big, big, big hearts and, you know, you're pure souls because the swan to me always gives me this energy of a pure soul. And I think this person also has a pure soul, but whatever this feeling is comes from fear of the unknown and like when people around us change sometimes we have to get used to or adjust to this new version of them and since you have such a big heart such a pure soul i feel like you're such a giving person you really are with the six of pentacles you're so 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 generous with your love with your time with everything and i think you have all your traits are what this person has dreamed of, of having in a partner and a friend and a crush in someone around them. But it's like you've been transforming so much. You've also been trying to maintain your own sense of self-love and set more boundaries in your connections to create healthier connections. And there's something here about the boundaries you're setting triggering this person as well as Maybe like you becoming more independent in your career, triggering this person. And I'll tell you why. It's not out of a place of maliciousness, but this is what this person thought the last time they saw you. So it's kind of like, I don't know if this person compares themselves to you or something along those lines because they see you being so talented so skilled at so many things they see you leveling up within your career within your finances they see you leveling up growing transforming and it almost makes this person feel stuck because maybe they're not growing at the pace you're growing at um and I, i'm feeling like a self-comparison energy and um, some type of emotional blockage within this person's sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is responsible for our confidence, for our creativity, for kind of just putting ourselves out there, manifesting the life of our dreams. But the sacral chakra is also the chakra of feelings and connected to our um, sensuality and our motivation. So there's something about you growing and transforming so much. It kind of, I'm feeling this person has a wounded ego and it kind of leaves them thinking thoughts like, like they're not good enough, like fearing, what if you leave them? And um, what if you're out of their league? Things like that. I don't think it's more comparison, like, Maybe sometimes they compare themselves and they're like, am I good enough for this person? Will they still like me? What if they leave me for someone better? Like that kind of fear, you get what I mean? And that's something I see this person thinks. Or this person thought like fearful thoughts the last time they saw you, but it's their perception that is a little bit warped or distorted because it's like... I think they still need to get used to this brand new version of you that is more confident in yourself, that is more independent, that is more talented, growing, transforming. And it's like, I think they just need to get used to this new version of you. Um, because you've grown so much, I think they sometimes fear that you will outgrow them. And they sometimes fear that you will transform so much that... You're not going to have them in your future anymore. And I think it's more so out of fear than maliciousness. It's not like a jealousy towards you. It's more so like a fear like what if this person becomes so talented, becomes so independent, becomes so wealthy, 
that they end up leaving me that they that they feel like I'm not good enough for them anymore or like what if they find someone better than me so it's like an ego type of fear where they fear they're not good enough their fear I also feel this person's healing something in the solar plexus as well and the throat chakra because when I started your reading I felt a lot of energies in my throat chakra so I think this person fears you like outgrowing them in some way or you being out of their league in some way because you've transformed so much but I think um, the last time they saw you they had these fearful thoughts like what if you leave them what if you outgrow them what if you are what if they're not good enough for you things like that but I think something about their perception of this fear or their perception of this feeling is going to heal them and transform them as well in some way so I feel like you have already healed a lot within yourself so now you are healing your or you're transforming your physical world around you becoming more grounded in your sense of self becoming more of this transformed abundant version of you blessed version of you in the physical so you're currently transforming in the physical whereas this person is currently transforming in the emotional aspect and you know what I feel from this connection this connection has a lot of love a lot of beauty but I think this person may have dealt with a lot of comparison in childhood like they may have had parents that kind of compared them to the other siblings or the other friends and something about them not being complimented in childhood they may have been criticized a lot in childhood for the things they did like if they had talents at certain things it's like they were either criticized or made to feel like they have to be in a competition with their siblings or their friends because their parents would always compare them that's something I'm seeing or this wound comes from um, criticism and not being nurtured as a child and it's like it's a wounded ego it's a rejection wound it's an abandonment wound it's like something about this feeling of fear of you leaving is transforming in them some way is awakening them in some way as we see in the awakening card and I think they had these thoughts the last time they saw you but it's like they're trying to almost fight their mind and not think thoughts like this because I don't think this person wants to think thoughts like this I think this person wants to be happy for your success wants to be happy for you growing and transforming but I think this person it comes from a wound of feeling like they're behind or feeling like Feeling like they aren't good enough is the word I keep hearing and I think this person is working through a lot of feelings currently but also the last time they saw you and sometimes sometimes like us growing like I said the people around us have to get used to this new version of us and I think they're happy for you but it's it's this wound in their ego that causes them to do this but they don't want to do this do you get what I mean it's not like a malicious energy and you know what I feel from this connection every time I do love readings for pile three I always feel like this is either a karmic connection that is meant to be healed in this lifetime or this is like a twin flame connection that is like triggering a lot so I guess you can take it as it resonates but I feel here there's something about the triggers this person experiences around you healing them without them knowing and it's like they don't want to experience these feelings and that's why I say I don't want this to hurt your feelings I want I want you to change your perspective on it and look at it in a different perspective where this person's healing a wound inside them it's not malicious at all it's like it's a wound of not feeling good enough and it's integrating 
that and learning from it and learning from that stuck feeling. And I think something about this person, when they feel stuck like this, it sometimes actually motivates them to work harder on themselves, to work on, I feel like these thoughts they had by getting triggered by you, by almost like wanting to fight off this feeling with the five of wands here. It's like this feeling coming up is actually motivating them to work on themselves and to find out why they're feeling this way. Because I'm seeing this person almost like want to find out why am I feeling this way? Why? Like, I don't understand it. Um, and that digging deep into that feeling is actually going to be healing for them because something about this is triggering a wound within them. It's a trigger. It's not malicious in any way, okay? And something about this realization is going to bring them to some kind of wholeness within themselves. It's going to bring them some sense of safety within their emotions where okay, I wasn't nurtured like this. Um, maybe they have a realization that helps them work on themselves. That's something I see with the awakening card. Something about this feeling or thought is awakening them in some way and is giving them realizations about a deeper part of themselves that they never saw before and it's also transforming them because spirit's showing me the butterfly but in an emotional aspect but it's also transforming them to feel safe enough with their emotions and to feel worthy again i think it's also making them realize that they can stand out too that we all have talents that we all shine in our own unique way and i think this person is starting to realize that. And I think this person needs nurturing. They haven't been nurtured. Their self-worth hasn't been nurtured. Their sense of safety within themselves hasn't been nurtured. I think this person stands out and shines just as much as you with the star card. But it's like, I don't think they see it within themselves. I don't think they see their potential yet. But something about this feeling is going to trigger a release of a feeling within them and it's going to help them realize that they shine too and that they have talents of their own um, that they can create and expand on as well. But also that you're not going to leave them just because you've grown. You're not going to leave them just because you have transformed in some way or leveled up in some way. I think it's just about getting used to this new version of you, but also um, what I said about boundaries. If this person gets triggered by you having boundaries and by you having independence, it may be that they are unknowingly codependent and it's like that triggers them because maybe they never felt safe enough to set boundaries in childhood. Because they felt a throat chakra blockage. So it's like when they see you speaking up for yourself. It's like that wounded inner child that is wanting to come out and be like, I want to speak up for myself too. So it's not out of maliciousness or jealousy. It's just, I have to be honest with what this person thought the last time they saw you. And if you can look at it in a different perspective and recognize this to be healing, then I think it would be very good for your connection. Of course, whatever you're feeling right now is valid as a result of hearing this because it's not always nice to hear our person have feelings like this. It's not nice, but I'm hoping that it maybe helps you have a deeper perception of this person so that you're able to show them the traits within them that shine out too. I think this person has a lot of talents and things they can go after that would really make them happy. But I think it's just a matter of finding that within themselves, feeling worthy enough to show it to the world in some way and feeling worthy to be able to experience that growth within themselves and see their own growth too. You know what I mean? 
and like I said, it comes out of fear of like not being good enough or of you leaving and your guides are really asking you to forgive this person for this because it's not out of maliciousness and I think this person wants to work on themselves with these thoughts they had the last time they saw you it's like they thought I really need to work on myself here with the seven of pentacles to give this person what they need in love to give this person the support they need because you've really been transforming my pile threes but like I said it's not always nice to hear this but I have to be honest with what I see and I think that's why sometimes it's not nice to see inside a person's thoughts because it's not always nice to see what they're actually thinking but I think this person has a lot of love for you it's just this needs to be triggered within them so that they can heal it you know what I mean and sometimes we can't control what is what we trigger in people we can't always control what feelings come up or what thoughts come up in people but that was what they thought the last time they saw you and they wanted to tell you how they were feeling but I think they're also scared that you would take it in the wrong way or that you would I don't know like not want to be with them anymore because I can tell you like every human emotion is valid and when we are in connections with people we expect for that not to be there but every human emotion is valid and they teach us something and we can't always control what a person feels and it's from a deeper wound it's not from maliciousness so this is what this person thought the last time they saw you um i just wanted to get that out of the way but also i think this person since they saw you they they they've kind of just been trying to quiet their mind they've been trying to understand why they felt this way they've been trying to dig deep within themselves and they've kind of just been sitting in solitude thinking should they communicate this to you of how they're feeling I think definitely with the boundaries thing like how they feel and I think they're just fearing what your reaction will be to it because I think it's just like I think they're trying to heal this within themselves and have more self-awareness and work on this part of themselves to be able to accept your boundaries and to be able to accept this new version of you with open arms because it's like they feel like they should be happy you know for you transforming but it's kind of like they fear that if you set boundaries you'll leave them or it's like a warped perception due to their childhood so that's something I see but this is going to be healed within them and know that your connection is protected. Know that you're protected. Um, yeah. The last time this person saw you, I think they also found you to be shining within yourself. Found you to be glowing. This person thinks that you're going to have a bright future. And I think this person often thinks of their future with you if they're going to be in it. I think this person the last time they saw you they're aware of how much feelings they have for you that they can't fight it anymore and it's like they just feel so many feelings for you of love and you're exactly what they've dreamed of having in a connection and they see themselves having a future with you but I think the last time they saw you they were really thinking like I want a future with this person I want to commit to this person with the lover's card I want to get married to this person with the four of wands I want to give this person what they need 
And there's something about those feelings that they didn't want to have awakening them to who they need to be to you. Um, in order for this connection to be a long lasting connection. And it's like, I think they want to reframe their mind and work on themselves so that they can be what they need for you in love. And that's what they thought the last time they saw you. If they had any type of conflict with you the last time they saw you, they thought that they want to really work on themselves and they really want to work on why they're feeling this way and transform something within themselves. And the last time they saw you, they just felt a lot of deep feelings for you. They still do and they always have. And I think this person really just wants a future with you. But it's like they want it so badly that they fear the unknown. You get what I mean? And I think this person, the last time they saw you, they were thinking about telling you how much you mean to them and telling you how much they love you and telling you how much they just want a future with you. I thought, I think they once, they thought like, you're the most abundant blessing that has happened to them. And I think while you were with them, it was like, they had this realization that you're everything they dreamed of having in a connection and that they have such deep feelings for you and you're such a blessing to this person. You give this person the type of love that is so abundant that they've never received before. And it's like, you're so generous with your love towards this person. That's what they thought the last time they saw you, that you're everything they've dreamed of having in a partner and that they're just so proud of your growth as well. That they're just so proud of your transformation, of you really working on yourself, of you really expanding in yourself and finding yourself, finding this new version of yourself, creating your reality. I think they're just really proud of you. That's what they thought the last time they saw you. And the last time they saw you, they thought that they're really intuitively drawn to you and they'd like to take steps towards working to them, working on themselves, healing themselves, but also putting more effort into the connection and growing the connection more with you and speaking their truth more and speaking about their feelings more. That's what they thought the last time they saw you, that they're just drawn to you in some way, that they feel there's a future with you that they feel they want a future with you. They want to commit to you. They want to get married here with the four of wands. Or if it's not like relationship kind of reading for love, then this could be a friend that wants to really be like a best friend to you with the lovers. Because we see a couple getting married. And naturally, if I think of friendship, I see that as like, I want to be your best friend. I want to be there forever. I want I want a love that is there forever, a forever kind of love type of feeling. And I think this person the last time they saw you, they thought like I can't fight this feeling anymore. I want to be with this person. I want to have this person in my daily life for a long time. I want to transform with this person. I want to grow with this person. I want to create a magical life with this person and I want to show them how much of a blessing they are to me. I want to generously give love to them and that's what they thought the last time they saw you. They also thought that they want to protect you and they want to go on more dates or go outside with you more or like do things with you more. They, the last time they saw you, they thought you bring you, them so much peace, but they thought that you also bring them so much joy. You're such a joy to this person. You light up this person's life and this person thinks you're so funny. This person thinks you're such a fun person, such a playful person to be around. And there's something here about them just feeling so blessed to have you in their life and... 
you're just such a gentle soul. This person feels everything you are is what they want in a connection. And you just match their energy in a way they've never had before. You understand them in a way they've never had before. They feel like there's no need to force things to happen with you. Things just flow and things just are easy. Like things flow with you and... I think when you're not with this person, this person often thinks of their memories with you and thinks of their times they've had with you. And this person just, I think they have a lot of love for you. I think they're just healing something within their emotions from the past. Um, and I think this person also just, the last time they saw you, they just felt like something about this feels meant to be something about this feels fated something about this feels like I can grow with this person like I can like this person feels my, like my rock like my strength and that's something this person thought the last time they saw you but they're also trying to analyze why they had those thoughts of fear and I think they're also right now trying to find what they're passionate about, trying to find what makes them shine in some way, trying to find their own sense of talents and passions within themselves. Because it's like, I want to be with you. I want a life with you. I'm not going to let this feeling stop that, um, this feeling of fear. I want to like work on myself to be exactly what you need. And that's what I see of what this person thought the last time they saw you. You're such a blessing to this person's life. This person loves you so, so, so much, my pile threes. And they definitely want a future with you. And they definitely see you as such a joy to be around. They love you so much. I don't want the beginning of this reading to leave you feeling off about this person I think it's their own journey their own lesson to learn and sometimes we can't always control what emotions are triggered in people also what lessons they learn we can't control that so this is what I see in your reading I really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye